Let's look at type 18, example 1 and 2. For each of the following questions, find the number that best completes the series. Now you've probably seen something similar at school, however we'll look at them just to remind you. You get a series of numbers, as we've got here we've got 12, 12, 13, 15, 18, and you need to find the number that continues the pattern. So let's first work out what the pattern is. How do you get from 12 to 12? Well, really, you're just adding nothing. Then to get from 12 to 13, you're adding 1. From 13 to 15, you're adding 2. From 15 to 18, you're adding 3. So as you can see, the pattern's going plus nothing, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3. So what do you think the next thing is going to be? Yes, it's plus 4. So 18 plus 4 is 22. And that's your answer. The next number that comes in the series is 22. Now, example 2. Sometimes the series is a lot longer, and actually there are two patterns inside the same series. So if we have a look, you can see it's going 120, then 4, then 110, then 8, then 100, then 16, then 90, and perhaps you've spotted that actually every second number makes an easy pattern. So 120 to 110 to 100 to 90, and if you continue that, you'd actually find the next number in the series. Because 4, 8, 16, and 32 make their own pattern, and they would create the number that comes after our answer. So let's have a look. 120 to 110 is minus 10. 110 to 100 is minus 10. 100 to 90 is minus 10. So the next thing you have to do is minus 10 to continue the same pattern. So 90 minus 10 gives you 80, and that's your answer. Let's have a look at a couple more type 18 examples. So the same as before, for each of the following questions, find the number that best completes the series. So let's have a look at example 3. Here's our series. So how do we get from 4 to 8? You could either say you're adding 4 or you're doubling it. So how do we get from 8 to 17? Well, adding 4 doesn't look too good because we only get to 12. Doubling it, we get to 16, which is quite near, but we'd have to add one more. So perhaps there's a solution to this where we're doubling and then adding on an extra number. So from 4 to 8, we're doubling, but not adding anything. From 8 to 17, we're doubling and adding 1. Now, let's try to see how we get from 17 to 36. So if we double 17, we get 34. And to get to 36, we'd have to add 2. So you can see a pattern emerging here. We're doubling each time, and then the bit we're adding on is also going up each step. So we're adding on naught in the beginning, then 1, then 2, and so on. So let's see if this pattern continues. So the next one, to get from 36 to 75, if we double 36, we get 72, and we add 3 to get to 75. So yeah, this is, looks like it's working. So 75 to 154, if we double 75, we get 150, and we're adding 4. So, to get our answer, we need to double and add 5. So, 154 times 2, 154 doubled, is 308, plus 5 is 313. Let's have a look at example 4 now. So, again, how do we get from 4 to 8? Well, we can times by 2, or add 4. How do we get from 8 to 24? Well, we could add 16, or we could times by 3. Ah, so how do we get from 24 to 96? That's actually timesing by 4. So if you notice there, we had a pattern. So we were timesing by 2 to begin with, then timesing by 3, then timesing by 4. So to get our, our answer, we need to times 96 by 5. And 96 times 5 is 480.